every day we generate 2.5 quintillion bytes of data. Data is the new oil. They say the data is the new oil. The data is the new oil. People have referred to data as the new oil. Data is the new oil. It is the strategic asset that's going to determine which countries rise and fall. I understood when they said 50 billion for a plant, I said, they have kind of a plant to send. But when you look at this, you understand why it's 50 billion. So this is one he's building in Louisiana. That's Meta, Facebook, as people understand it to be. But look at that, uh, that's the size of Manhattan. So that's superimposed over the island of Manhattan. It takes up a big part of Manhattan. A $750,000 investment into Yuma Asset Management subnet funds? That's crazy. Not to add, Grayscale now holds 44% of BitTensor Tau in their AI portfolio. It's getting crazy. <laughs> and we just seen another, yes, another subnet listed on exchanges but speaking of subnets i want to talk about one subnet and this subnet is probably a top three important subnet within BitTensor's ecosystem the subnet i want to talk about is subnet 13 data universe uh, by macrocosmos ai i'm going to put all the links in the description but i want to let you know why that subnet is important and talk about one of the emerging subcategories inside the ai narrative sometimes we got to manifest what we want in life you only need faith the size of a mustard seed hustle over hopium let's get it to my tau community we all gonna make it tau has been holding up pretty strong guys it's still above our momentum indicator right there ultimate rsi we're still above it it's coming to retest the trend line and also the 21 day and 50 day ema you can see this wick candle right here so technically it's still bullish we'll just have to continue to monitor i think subnet 13 is extremely valuable because it works like a data refinery similar to like how an oil refinery turns oil into gas well in order for artificial intelligence to actually use data it needs to be refined right it, it needs to be refined in a way that it can understand it a lot of these companies are going to be paying for data refineries right because data is the only way companies are going to be able to survive just think about everything everything is based on data what does jerome powell say i gotta look at the data what does Chainlink use in these oracles they use data right artificial intelligence they use data amazon gas stations any type of business they use consumer data to understand how to better their product or better their services right and since everybody is moving into a world of artificial intelligence they now have to refine that normal internet data into a way ai can actually use it this is about to blow up man this is about to be massive right this is about to be massive because think about it in order for you to build out a llm a model anything right the little models that i was showing you guys um that i was building with n8n all right so i let it uh chill for a bit and so far we got 2137 records collected the estimated price is about 11 cents so far so let's see what happens when we hit build data set i mean that's a lot of data that i just was able to collect it only costed 11 cents so this is what i was talking about like i've, I've used like i said i've used other subnets for various different things um, i use the search to scrape the internet i've used shoots uh for like image generation and everything that i use within BitTensor, of course is decentralized but it's also way cheaper than a centralized competitor let's just actually hit build a data set and see what happens wallet balance four dollars and 89 cents so it looks like they gave me five dollars for free i got five dollars in funds so they give you five dollars and let's see what we were able to get with this data set and again with these data sets you can build you can use these data sets to build out workflows on nan this is a bot telegram bot that i built that uh gives out altcoin signals see here this is 
uh, AI agent that I built, a Telegram bot that I built that fetches Tao's ecosystem data um, to let me know whenever any subnet gets a volume spike and it formats the message and put it directly inside Telegram. So you can use um, data sets like this to be able to get that data, use that data to input into your workflow. You can get an output that's extremely close to the live data. So it's building the data set. Again, we're gonna wait until it builds. Uh, it took about two hours to give us 2,137 records collected. This is subnet 13, macrocosmos.ai. That my artificial intelligence can understand it and then it can create maybe a telegram bot. This is why I think the data universe is extremely undervalued as a subnet. We're starting to see subnets right we're starting to get see subnets get listed on exchanges i made a post on twitter i said why did ethereum boom right why did ethereum boom in 2017 the ico boom right it was projects that were launched within the ecosystem why did bnb boom finance why did solana boom right multiple billion dollar runners now we're starting to see subnets get listed on exchanges they might not be the best exchanges the biggest exchanges, but soon they're going to be the biggest exchanges right because you're already seeing like coin market cap and all of these um data aggregated platforms list subnets right and um again if, if you're if you're an indie developer and you want to build something right and you need cheap data just like if you need cheap compute power, right? Why would you go use a centralized entity? Cool thing about um, mining and how the data is reviewed and delivered in quality is because every time, let's say a new uh, task is submitted, right? Let's say a new task is submitted, right? Um, let's say I need data for this or data for that, right? That data is being created in real time and those miners are providing quality data in real time live and that's being built model are best when they have fast quality data and because these miners have, have to compete for these rewards they have to deliver the best quality right and the validators what they do is they score they score the data to make sure that these companies these indie developers are getting the best data possible you say data is the new oil right and data centers data centers were like oil refineries right they were oil refineries well now we got ai right so now the oil refineries are going to be these uh data scrapers these data aggregators right these are the new oil refineries BitTensor is the new oil refinery if you're using facebook you using TikTok, you using all of these different platforms, you are contributing to the growth of AI. You, if you might not even like artificial intelligence, you might hate AI, the fact that it's taking people jobs, you are contributing to AI and you are not being monetized for it. You are not being incentivized for your contributions to AI. But BitTensor allows you to be incentivized to the contributions of AI, regardless if you are a miner, validator, owner, or alpha staker. So if you stake an alpha in subnet 30, 13 data universe, right? You're getting your piece of the pie. That way you're not contributing to the growth of the AI economy for free, for free. No one understands this about BitTensor. If you're going to contribute to the AI economy, you might as well be incentivized for it, gang. Data Universe lets everyone tap into and share big social data, acting as an open library for anybody to use, improve, and earn. I really like being able to uh, also use these, 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 these data scrapers to scrape the uh, market and give me information on what's going on in the macro. Um, it really helps me pair information and sentiment and, and news what I'm, what, with what I'm seeing on the chart, right? Because when we see things on the chart that provide weakness, then we know the news can um, provide <laughs> what, what I like to call FUD and fear mongering like what we were seeing in the market. I created a prompt. You can use chat GPT or any type of um, platform like Claude AI to create these prompts, right? So I created a prompt that's allowing me 
um, to get macro in, in crypto data, right? And uh, I named it Global Macro Crypto Early Signal Data Aggregator. The date range is from October 6th to November 5th. And the prompt was act as a macro quantitative data collector and analyst, gather structured and unstructured data daily from reliable web api sources on the following key domains and what it's going to do is going to scrape data on reddit it's going to scrape data on x it's going to um, scrape data on youtube and it's going to scrape data for everything right macro like cpi ppi like this i love using these on the subnets because it really saves you money you try to scrape data using some of these web 2 entities you spend a lot of money so for an indie developer right that has an idea um that wants to bring that idea to life but maybe be strapped uh, financially subnets award a great vehicle to find tools to build out your AI, your platforms, your LLMs in a very cost efficient way. Data Universe, I'll make sure to put all the links in the description. What I wanna make sure that I also show you guys how this works. So you hit that send button and the AI, it's the cool little AI guy, he's gonna respond in a second and then he'll kind of fool everything out. So I really like the layout of the, of the website too and the interaction when you're when, you, when it's scraping the data I, I like stuff like this that was the gravity tool that allows you to scrape data if you ever wanted to build an llm a telegram bot or um, any type of ai platform that requires you to utilize things like uh apis and in different uh data sets whether that be reddit uh x and even youtube but i also want to explain what data universe because there is some benefits of holding it as a uh holder right a alpha holder you see this nice good um green candle here on the hour i think that uh if if you you know kind of understand the, the magnitude of you know where ai grows from here then there's an opportunity with some of these data projects specifically with subnets because we're so early to subnets and tiles great tokenomics with scarcity but data universe or think of it like a library that collects social media posts from wherever organizes them and lets anyone access them to build cool things it collects data it cleans data it shares data i'll share this inside the patreon some of the key features here uh are real-time data it's a incentivized network i talked about that a little bit earlier with the miners and validators um no gatekeeping is decentralized unlike big tech uh google meta uh, nobody owns the data it's open and accessible to everyone it has cheap access like i said they got a free five dollars and i scraped the data pretty you know we looking for um a whole bunch of data only cost me 11 cents um it's easy to use and it's you know easy to scale as well over 55 billion rows of data um that's the world's largest open source social media data sets it literally has the every time i think about uh the tensor tile subject it, it's it's like it's breaking guinness world records it's like the world's think about ridges right yeah it's, it's already you know competing against anthropic and now you got uh data universe here um the world's largest open source social media data set <laughs> it's crazy uh they also are partnered with multiple subnets like subnet 44 which is score um that handles sports analytics and subnet 64 for predictions which is shoots prediction models it's also something that's going to use a lot of data guys um that's a use case for data universe ai model builders um companies building ai models need fresh training data data universe feeds them real current social conversations analytic platforms prediction markets crypto blockchain projects like oracles need data social data um dashboard apps uh, researchers, universities, research labs use Data Universe for studying social behavior, trends, and public opinion at massive scale, right? So it's pretty easy to use. You pick what you want to track using the gravity tool. Type in the topics that you're interested in, like AI, machine learning. Um, I was specifically scraping the data for things that have to do with the macro to give me an idea of some altcoin season signals. Um, you can choose the platform, whether that be Twitter, Twitter, Reddit, YouTube. YouTube, um, 
and i would uh, assume that they'll get more platforms as a lot of that revenue that they generate is uh put back into the alpha and growing the platform um the network does the work we talked about the miners and validators um you get your data in about seven days a clean organized data set arrives in your email ready to use for analysis training models or whatever you want so i'm still waiting for that uh data set after seven days i was wondering when it was coming because i was i, I hit the uh you know the build a data set and i was like where is that but now i see it it does take seven days so they'll send it immediately to your email you don't have to like log in with your wallet or anything you can log in traditionally like web2 through your email and some of the real world use cases uh use cases are um some of the things uh people actually use it for traders and investors uh, attract social buzz early i've seen people build mind share platforms um, with for the BitTensor ecosystem utilizing this data scraper marketing teams measure campaign impact i don't know if bitcash uses uh, uh, uh subnet 13 but that would be interesting right because they have to go over the youtube analytics risk and reputation scoring um combine on-chain social data see what wallet activity okay that's that's pretty cool ai training train smarter ai models that's a pretty good use case ai agents and chatbots uh build a smart assistant so i showed you guys on n8n some of the things that i was building and of course research and analysis again i was using the 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 the, the data scraper to get data sets on the macro so why does this matter first we already know that the data itself is going to be worth billions and trillions of dollars right the old way costs too much too many big companies only own the data it's too centralized there's a lot of gatekeeping we don't need any it's slow right this is fast this costs pennies everyone can use it it's for everybody everybody can get their piece of pie for contributing to the ai economy love it right data universe democratizes access to social intelligence which costs millions now costs nothing which uh what was locked down is now open so it's going to be interesting to see if the revenue they generate will be enough to outpace the miners because that's really what it is that's what's going to um help the chart appreciate right that's what's going to help the chart appreciate this thing is sitting at a nine million dollar market cap again we're starting to see subnets get listed um on exchanges so uh they also do some things with hugging face and that's pretty that's actually pretty 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 legit right that's a huge company very very <laughs> very very uh uh prestigious company there and um 55 billion rolls of data is insane insane Hey, day all right guys check it out yourself um this is subnet 13 i'll put the links in the description make sure you check it out and let me know what you're building if you are building something in the ai universe big data social media intelligence will all be worth of billions of dollars Well, it's been one chat, but I got to get out of here. Make sure that you check out Data Universe. Check out BitTensor. Go watch my other BitTensor videos. I'll be sure to link them at the end of this video and put the link in the description to Subnet 13 Data Universe. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your week. It's your boy Crypto Millie, and I'll see you in the next one.